Hello guys, and welcome to a video. It's been a while, I know. Um, it's been a few months since my last video that I've put on the channel. Um, and uh, I thought uh, that I'd do a little bit of a comeback video because I have been gone for so long. So the first question you guys are going to ask, of course, is Jack, why were you gone so long? Or Christopher, depends where you know me from, either in-game or YouTube. Um, I was pretty sick, and I don't really want to make that a focus of my channel. You know, I'm feeling a lot better now, but I did have to take some time off to focus on my health. Which is, uh, I think a good call on my part. But I am coming back to ESO now. Um, I am, I am coming back, uh, and I'm going to be making a lot of content again. I'm going to be continuing to stream regularly as well. Um, so the break is over, and I'm excited to be back. Uh, so there were a few things that I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, just a few things around ESO that I've kind of missed slash didn't miss about the game and things I kind of experienced coming back after taking uh, a couple months, three almost three months of a break from this game. I didn't even log in. Um, so the first thing I really want to mention is lag. Uh, ESO is still really laggy. And that was one of the big things that got me as soon as I came back uh, with the lag. Is A big pet peeve of mine is having to deal with a lot of lag in PvP especially. Um, and uh, yeah, that's something that Zenimax I think really needs to work on. Here you see... <laughs> Awesome little fight here with this DK. He actually pops the invisibility potion, um, and I just stand around waiting. I know he popped the invis pot, just want him to come back out of stealth to fight me. But very interesting play by him. I have never fought a stem DK that pops an invisibility potion like that on me. Um, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so that's something I'd love to see. Uh, maybe Zenimax work on a little bit in this game. Uh, one of the things, though, that I will say is that the game balance has come a long way. Um, I, I took a break at the end of kind of the proc era of this game, um, and that was right when proc builds have kind of been nerfed into Oblivion, and uh, it was nice to, to enjoy some PvP where proc builds were not the meta. I honestly have to say that PvP feels very balanced. I mean, there's obviously this tank meta, and... Uh, you know, I think that's very common in a PvP game. More people just want to survive rather than focus on, uh, you know, getting the kill on their opponent. I think that's more of a common goal for a player is you, you can either get the kill or do you want to survive. And a lot of people choose the survival route. And I'm actually okay with the tank playstyle. I mean, they did nerf heavy armor coming into Clockwork City. But the tank playstyle is something that I don't mind fighting because I play heavier DPS builds. And uh, my heavier DPS builds usually can kill a tank build. Um, most of the time. Most of the time. Sometimes you do come by these tanky builds that are just too hard to kill. Um, and I know that can be frustrating, but... I don't know. They, you always got to think like they're not doing a ton of damage either, right? So it's all it's all a trade-off. It really is. Um, so yeah. As for my channel, guys, I've decided that I'm going to continue to focus on build craft, and uh, I'm maybe going to even deviate away more so than I have in the past from these meta specs. Uh, and this isn't because I want to, you know, shame meta. I, I actually don't want to. You know, people who play meta, that's totally fine. You know, play whatever you're comfortable playing. That's what I say. Um, but I, I feel very comfortable playing different things. In fact, I actually enjoy playing the different things a lot more. So that's something I really want to focus on um, in ESO now and something I really want to work towards. As they continue to add new sets into the game, they're adding, uh, you know, new weapons. Um, they are added a new class. They're going to be adding probably new skill lines, etc. as time goes on. So buildcraft is something I really want to keep my focus on in this game because that's something that I personally really love and uh, that was something that I kind of lost focus on a little bit this past year I just kind of got caught up in you know wanting to be more successful in PvP as opposed to playing a build that I enjoy playing and I know that success comes with you know enjoying what you're playing but I personally think that you have a better time when you play something original, something you really like to play, something you can call your own, and uh, that's that's really what I'm going to be focusing on coming back into the 
into ESO. Uh, anyway, guys, this was just kind of like a little bit of an update video. Um, a very different style from what you guys are used to seeing. Of course, we got a little bit of PvP footage in the background just to keep it uh, flashy and fun. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked what you saw here, feel free to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time.